And today's Dr. Phil show gave an in-depth look at a Christian sex cult with close ties to San Diego. In fact, former members of the Children of God still live here and operate two local religious nonprofits. I talked with two former members earlier today who appeared on today's Dr. Phil show. The Children of God religious sect was born out of the Free Love Jesus movement of the late 1960s. It now goes by the name The Family. The group became notorious as a Christian sex cult when founder David Berg started preaching open sexuality, even among children. Many ex-members now say child abuse was widespread in the group during the 1970s and 80s. No, Former member Jim LaMattery left the group in 1975, that. around the time Berg started preaching his law of love. LaMattery now lives in San Diego and appeared on the Dr. Phil show with his daughter Christy and his nephew John, who both say they were abused as children by other members of the family. Jim, what's your reaction after seeing the episode of Dr. Phil? Well, I, I'm excited that this story got to uh, national attention, and, um, uh, and I'm hopeful that my daughter will seek the counseling that uh, the Dr. Phil organization has um, promised to provide her. What was it like to talk about what you went through on national television? Yeah, I was very happy with um, the expose that Dr. Phil did on the family. I was very happy with the spotlight he pointed in their direction. We need all the help that we can get. There's not many of us out here waving the red flag saying, hey, these guys are in, this, in our community, people. Let's go out and let's ask them the hard questions. Members of the family religious sect still operate two San Diego County nonprofits, a religious publishing company called Activated Ministries in Escondido, and a missionary group called the Family Care Foundation based in Dilzura in the East County. Activated Ministries has teamed up with the family in recent weeks to solicit donations online for Hurricane Katrina relief and youth ministries. You know, this is concerning to us because I, I know what their youth counseling is all about. I was a youth in the family. I was brought into this group and, and brought up in, under their structures. So, yeah, it's very alarming to know that they're out in the community. They come off as the good little Christian missionary group. They were in the Houston Astrodome going in singing songs and you know for, for, for all intents and purposes it looks like they're doing good work but then when you backtrack and find that they are still worshiping a pedophile founder they still have them on their their websites mm -hmm. and uh, they need to, to you know to be exposed to that regard for its part the family has acknowledged that some child abuse took place in the past a spokesperson says the group banned all sexual contact with children in 1986 and apologized to the victims. Leaders also deny that child abuse was widespread. Now, News 8 asked the family to respond to today's Dr. Phil show in an emailed statement to News 8. Spokesperson Claire Borowick called Dr. Phil's portrayal of her church biased and malicious. Borowick also pointed out that a number of criminal investigations around the world have failed to result in convictions of any family members.